Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to do your weekly reading. This is going to be April 12th through the 18th. Please remember if you're seeing this right now, this is upcoming, okay? So this is uh, in the near future. Uh, everything else you need to know is in the description box. Uh, there is a playlist link if you'd like to check out your moon sign or your rising sign. Uh, this is a general reading, may not resonate with everyone. Also, um, in the description box, uh, details for my giveaway, if you'd like to enter the giveaway. And then lastly, I have a new channel called Heal to Love. Uh, it's a meditation um, and healing channel and also videos for manifestation. So I have definitely some videos below, some links for uh, opening up your heart chakra and other chakras as well. So check that out if you like and uh, let's get started with your reading all right Taurus let's pull some cards here uh, I'm using I believe this is the uh, uh, Archangel uh, tarot deck so we're going to pull some messages here to start your reading thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what messages do you have for Taurus uh, April 12th through the 18th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do you have for Taurus? Let's get one more shuffle. These cards are a little bit hard to shuffle. Let's cut. Okay. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Taurus? April 12th through the 18th. Okay. So you have the King of Gabrielle. You have the Knight of Michael. And you have the Six of Raphael. And then let's look at the bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Page of Gabrielle. So two cards here that are very passionate energy. So you may have uh, some sort of new endeavor that you are going after. I do see here a uh, quick movement. You have here, follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. All right, so I feel here too, some of you could be traveling. There could be uh, some sort of sudden change that is coming about. We have here uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, and we also have here Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and we also have um, uh, scamp Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So let's go through these. You have the King of Gabriel. Okay, so you may be feeling very inspired or driven at this time. It says, keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to other experience that leads to success genuine concern for others okay so this can also be somebody in your life as well for some of you i see here this could be new love or this just can be you feeling uh, really inspired and motivated going after um, a dream or a goal here okay you know it can be about your career or um, i feel for some of you even travel you have the night of of michael okay so this is uh being very strong committed uh, and diligent time to move quickly choose logic over emotion and sudden change so this can be communication coming in or this can be uh, something that changes you know uh, in the moment it happens very quickly and it can have to do with like I said something that you're very motivated about you have uh, I feel like too I'm hearing the message with this as well that uh, you may have to just really quickly like go travel somewhere for for whatever reason you know maybe you're gonna go see family or you're uh, going to see one and I know that's not possible for everyone uh, because of the whole COVID situation but I, it, I feel like for some of you that will happen you have six of Raphael this is about embracing your inner child uh, can be new friends or can be a relationship that is rekindled um, or can just have to do with your childhood or children. So some of you too, you may be uh, traveling with children or you know traveling to see children. Um, 
but I feel here too this could even be a rekindled relationship because this is like the six of cups can be um, someone from your past so let's pull some tarot see what else comes out for you so I feel there could be somebody uh, you know definitely coming towards you could be a child can be a love all right and this may spark the passion in you okay if this is not about you doing something new that you're motivated about okay let's cut these cards thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what messages do you have for taurus april 12th through the 18th okay you have the six of swords okay that's another card of travel you have the uh, Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands, beautiful, Eight of Wands, beautiful, and what do you have here? Four of Cups, okay, and bottom of the deck here, you have the Page of Cups. All right. So you have the Six of Swords and you have the Ace of Wands. You have Air Energy and Fire Energy here. So again, uh, this looks like there's some uh, new opportunity coming your way. Something I feel you're going to feel very passionate about, very excited about. Uh, this can be, um, I feel for some of you, this is about travel. Some of you may be making some sort of home move. Okay, an opportunity comes your way and uh, you may have to travel or make a move. I'm getting here as well. I feel if you've been through a difficult time or you know, you've know you been feeling like things haven't gone too smoothly, I feel there is that sudden change here that I am seeing that it's, it's things are going to move in a different direction uh, than they were before. You have the uh, page of cups here as well. So again, it tells me there's some sort of new offer coming in for you. You know, this can be a new love, but it also can be uh, someone I see here too that could be returning from your past, wanting to rekindle things. Okay, so they may uh, send you some message, you know, flirty message or, or even an apology for some of you. You got water energy there. You have the nine of pentacles and you have the eight of wands. So very nice uh, energy. Again, another card of travel, seeing a lot of travel uh, in this energy. Uh, someone could be traveling towards you as well. Okay, but I see this very uh, independent energy and the Nine of Pentacles is someone who does well, takes care of themselves, very attractive, very abundant. Okay, and there's very passionate energy coming towards you. So whether this is something that's going to motivate you, some new uh, opportunity uh, that's really going to give you stability if you don't have it now, um, or like I said, it can be a new love coming in for you or somebody wanting to rekindle things. You have the Knight of Wands and you have the Four of Cups. So you have Aries, Leo, Sag here, um, and you have Water, Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel if this is somebody returning from your past, uh, this uh, you may be reluctant, okay, to receive, um, you know, whether it's the communication or maybe they're offering something here. Uh, but I see that you may be hesitant, okay. Some of you may have other offers or things that you're pursuing in your life. Um, But this also can be, you know, the, the Knight of Wands is, a, is not always bad, okay? The Knight of Wands uh, can be this new opportunity that I am seeing if this is not about love for you. So this is just very passionate energy. So I feel like there's something new coming in. And I always say with this card with the Four of Cups, you may be hesitant to, re, to um, be reluctant to receive this new opportunity. But this is saying to investigate the offer. Don't just dismiss it. Even if you feel like you have other offers, there may be something very good about it and you may decide. You know, this is uh, you know, this is an offer like that's coming from the universe here. So uh, it, it is something that you should look at. Now, if this has to do with love for you, again, 
Uh, this can be somebody from your past who maybe was um, all over the place or they were in and out of your life and uh, they may have rejected you in the past is what I'm getting here. But there is the possibility too that you have new love, okay? Because I see, you know, this person uh, coming in, but then there's somebody here. Um, I see other options just because look, some of you may have a choice here, two options, um, you know, indecisive energy or, you know, going back and forth. Okay, can be, you know, if this is love, your person going back and forth. So I'm just going to clarify uh, the Four of Wands and the Four, I'm sorry, the Nine of Wands and the Four of Cups. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Knight of Wands and the Four of Cups here, please? It's definitely a soulmate energy or someone from your past. But this also can be about your peace, joy, and happiness. It can even be children, okay? If you have older children, okay? Somebody uh, reaching out to you, King of Pentacles and the Strength card. All right, so bottom of the deck here, you have the High Priestess, all right? So using your intuition, your intelligence here, uh, whatever offer is coming in for you, you have the King of Pentacles and the Strength card. So whatever this new opportunity is for you, I do sense here that it is going to bring you stability. I was already seeing that here with the Eight of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so it may take your courage, all right, to accept the offer um, or, you know, to pursue it, okay? But it's showing something very solid here, something that's going to be very solid. And I feel here with the Six of Raphael also very um a place where you're going to feel at peace okay but i do see hesitation on your part but they're saying here always use your intuition and do what feels right you have the temperance card as well look at that the temperance card ace of wands twice temperance ace of wands um and the high priestess all right so this is um i feel like this is something you're not seeing okay something that uh you're not seeing coming towards you and um i feel for some of you this definitely can be a rekindle of love um, but for others i feel like this is definitely a place where you're going to feel more motivated about something you're very passionate about and some of you it can just be about travel with the say some ones it can even be um, i always see this as an inheritance card as well so there could be uh, something very beautiful as with this King of Pentacles, some, a lump sum of money coming in for you, okay? Um, but with the Temperance card, it's also divine timing and patience is also needed. So, you know, I'm seeing this Eight of Swords. So if you've been feeling stuck lately, I feel there's going to be some sudden change here, okay? That is going to be for the betterment of you. Now let's uh, pull some uh, Angel Answer cards. Now in this deck, it has yes and no. So if you have a question and then it has other uh, cards as well. If you have a question and the yes or no comes out, then that is the answer to your question. Um, but this is just angel guidance if you have no questions. So thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Taurus? Let's get three cards, please. Okay, so bottom of the deck here, you have reconsider. So I feel with this Four of Cups, there was something here you're hesitant about. The reconsider, you know, as I was saying, at least investigate it, at least get the clarity that you need before making any uh, decisions here, okay? You have um, asked for help from others, okay? So I sense here there may be something here that you may need help with. If some of you are making some sort of move, okay, uh, or travel even, you may need help, okay? All right, uh, I saw the stuck energy, so if you're feeling stuck, don't be afraid to ask for help from others. And this is also about asking help from your angels. You have communicate clearly, all right? So I do see communication coming in for you. 
Um, I feel, you know, this is about uh, for your own stability. This is about you being clear about what you want in your situation, okay, what your intentions are. Maybe you need to um, investigate this offer and see what the other person's intentions are. So they're saying communicate clearly, okay? Don't be afraid to do that because things may be a little bit foggy now, okay? You can see, you can't see the angel's face here, all right? But I feel they're saying here with the world card, communicate clearly because there's a lot of opportunity and, and success that is coming your way, okay? You have in the near future, okay? So I feel this change is definitely happening in the near future. This can be anywhere from three weeks to three months, you know, three weeks, the initial stages, but also, um, you know, can take up to three months before uh, there is a change, okay? But there is something here suddenly happening, and that I feel here is the communication that's going to start everything here. All right, um, Taurus, we're going to pull one last message. This is going to be a message from spirit for you let's get a one card here for taurus all right so dearest taurus a rigid tree branch breaks under strong winds yet flexible seaweed survives powerful ocean swells right now we gently remind you that being flexible is a good choice when faced with life challenges Surrender your fixed ideas to spirit who knows what is in your highest good and can deliver to you what you need in the appropriate form. In this moment, rather than fighting or being too sure of your way, working out, be a little looser and allow for another outcome. Compromise can be the best way forward if you are to learn new ways of doing and seeing. Stay aware, curious, and teachable. Take life on life's terms. Your purpose may push you in a direction not on your map. Let it be so flexible that no storm can uproot you. In the end, you will be rooted in the, I'm sorry, in the end, you will be still be rooted in the world in abundance and you will indeed experience the beauty that is yours. We love you so much. So beautiful message there from Spirit, and I feel this is very on point with your situation. And I hope you enjoyed your reading, Taurus. Again, details are below if you want to enter the giveaway uh, or check out my new channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.